Alright guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fiercy here and today we have some interesting news. Firstly coming with Intel preparing their i9-3980HX to be released. That's the mobile processor. Intel also showing their basically i9-3900KS which is gonna be like 5% faster than 3900K. Biaski releasing water blocks for Arc A770 and A380. Nvidia is removing their game stream service from Shield products. And lastly, AMD Ryzen 7900, 7700, and 7600. CPU pricing and specification gets confirmed. So firstly, we have Intel Core i9 3900, 3900 Excuse me, it's a very weird name. HX Raptor Lake HX CPU, basically the the laptop CPU. And it's gonna be, it is probably the world's fastest laptop CPU because it's gonna be coming with 24 cores and also clocking at 5.6 gigahertz. So this is the whole lineup. This is first, firstly, this is the image basically, the die. And we have the lineup right here. And if you look into it, Core i9 3900-980HX, that's really tough to spell, but anyway, uh, it's gonna be Raptor Lake obviously, and uh, obviously coming with 24 cores, 8 core 16 and basically 8 cores are gonna be the uh, the main cores and the 16 cores are efficiency cores as we all know and the base clock is to be announced yet but the boost clock we already know and that is 5.6 gigahertz and of course the GPU cores is gonna be supporting 32 EUs and the TDP is rated at 55 watts so yeah like it's gonna be the fastest CPU of course uh, mobile for mobile lineup it's gonna be the fastest world's fastest and yeah, it's looking good because, I mean, it's it's quite fast. 5.6 in a laptop CPU having only like 55 watts is very impressive, I have to say. So we have to see how we have to see how well it's going to perform. All in all, now it's looking good. Next up, we have Intel Core i9-3900KS uh, gets a 5% uplift in uh, the Cinebench R23 ST test, basically the single thread performance, and it's compared to i9-3900K. And well, if you look into it, it's getting around 2,366 compared to the 3900K, which is getting 2,243. Also, uh, 3900 is here and the 7950X is here. So comparatively, it's way faster than the 7950X. Uh, it's not surprising, obviously. and But it's not that much faster than the 3900K because like only 5% is not going to be that much appealing anyway. Like, yeah, like in, in multi-core tests, we're looking some good, like, lead here. Even though not too much, like, uh, I can't really tell the performance. Uh, we have to calculate still, but yeah, the 40,999.98 compared to 39,689. So, yeah, it's not a huge gain. So, I, I'm i not sure if, if this is appealing because we, we've seen this before in the in a previous video of mine where... We discussed about the 3900K and 3900K S getting a around 10% lead in uh, Geekbench, and here we're looking at only 5% in Cinebench R23. So it's that's not looking good, you know, for 3900K S. But again, if you're a new buyer, it's, it really doesn't matter. But if you're an older buyer, I mean, if you have already have a well a CPU, I don't think that this upgrade is worth it. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Next up, we have Bikeski, or did I spell that right? Yeah, Bikeski, presenting their basically the Intel Arc A380 and A770. So yeah, this, they're bringing in the water block for them, and it's priced at one eighty nine point ninety nine. Very expensive, I have to say. But the question is, do they really require any sort of uh? Well, water blocks, because these these GPUs are not even like that much demanding in terms of cooling, you know. So it just doesn't make sense. But again, if you want to buy it, it is an option. But then again, would you? Because first of all, the GPU is cheap, you know. It's it's gonna be around two hundred and something dollars. And with the water block, you're making it very expensive, don't you think? So it's really like, I don't see the point of getting a water block for Intel A770 or even A380. Like, uh, yeah, it's just doesn't really make sense. Next up, we have a NVIDIA support. Uh, sad thing is that they're going to be ending service for game stream in Shield products, basically. 
And well, I don't think that is a good move because, like, people like game streams, right? And they, I mean, that's what they say is that what's happening to game streams. So basically, they are saying that starting in mid February, a planned update to the Nvidia Games app will begin rolling out to the Shield owners, basically. And with this update, game stream feature will be no longer available in the app. And well, if you want to stream, there's there's only one way you can do that now, and that is Steam Link. You can use that and well, stream games, I guess. And of course, uh, the you the it will support for the older generation, but all, uh, after time passes, they're gonna be you know, literally removing it from the Shield products, basically. And yeah, you will have to update GeForce now to even use it. Uh, and we'll basically not even use it. It's going to be completely out of the syllabus here because they're ending the service. And I don't know why, because people, I, I've seen people using it a lot, like not just a little amount of people, plenty of people use it. So I don't really see why they're doing that. Yeah, don't know. Okay, before heading to the new the next news here, I want to say that only, or not only, 97.5% of you all are not subscribed. So please, considering subscribing, it really helps a lot. All right, back to the video. And next up, we have AMD Ryzen 7900 and 7700 and 7600 CPU gets a pricing and specification confirmation coming from directly from video cards here. And if you look into it, AMD Ryzen 9 7900 will cost, uh, well, basically uh, 429, which is comparatively cheaper. And if you look into the frequency, well, they're not that great. 5.4 gigahertz, not reaching the you know, that high frequency limit. So, yeah, but cache here, 76 megabytes, yeah. Uh, Zen 4, of course, we all know that. Zen 5, DDR5, and of course, 65 watts. That's going to be uh, rated, and we already know that. So, yeah, 7700 here, we're looking at 5.3 gigahertz max, obviously. And, again, 65 watts, the pricing is 329. So, again, not a bad pricing. It's literally the same pricing as the... six. Uh, Previous generation, basically. And lastly, of course, the 7600, the 6-core processor here, will be rated as 5.1 gigahertz. Again, very low in terms of frequency, but then again, over 5 gigahertz boost, so not complaining. And of course, 65 watts, and coming at, and it's a very appealing price, I have to say, 229 USDs. That's very appealing, like, I have to say. this is this, At least AMD is, is doing a, uh, making a good move here. You know, making the price two twenty nine, maybe two hundred dollars would be appealing. But you know what? I'm not complaining because it's still way better than you know the competition. So yeah, I mean, I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. So yeah, for budget builders here, we do have an option, and that's a good option. But we don't know when it's launching though, so we have to wait. I believe uh in the Q one of twenty twenty three, but I'm hoping it's gonna be January. Hoping you know. Because if that is the case, then we will have many options. Also, don't forget, the 7000X 3D models are also coming. So it's going to be very much uh, uh, probably a, basically a gamble which one you want to take. Do you want to go for the non-X or do you want to go for X 3D? That's going to be your choice. But yeah, the pricing looks appealing. All right, that is it for today. What do you think about the Ryzen 7000 non-X series? Because they look very appealing to me and the pricing is also very appealing. So... Watch out for the market and hopefully the pricing that they're showing is going to be the same in the aftermarket. So that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. Anyway, have a good day.